And join us, one of our favorites from Starlight Ranch in the Big Texan, Mr. Patrick Lee joins us. Uh, Patrick, man, what a season. Oh, it's been fantastic. What good bands, season. good weather for the most part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, we're finally wrapping it up this Friday with Eli Young. Big show this weekend. Eli Young's coming in. Uh, you've had the Beer Fest, Oktoberfest, rather. You've had uh, Margaritaville. You have been here since the conception of this project. Yeah. The whole Starlight Ranch has started. Would this probably be the most successful summer you've had so far? It's definitely up there. I yeah. think uh, right after COVID mm-hmm. is whenever Starlight really took Blew off. Up. And that's whenever we kind of realized how big Starlight was because, you know, we were sitting there and, you know, we heard about venues having to close down because of COVID. And we had this huge lineup that year and we yeah. were sitting there, man, you gonna know, how are we going to do this? Yeah. How are we going to do this? And then, uh, you know, the focus went from Starlight to the Big Texan. How right. can we make the Big Texan keep going? Right. And all of a sudden we realized everyone in town kept asking us, well, what about the shows this summer? What are y'all going to do? And it's like, wow, like, you know, people love Starlight. Yeah. People love coming out to see the shows. And then that's where we realized this is something special. You know, it, we got to keep this thing going and make it bigger. Is it because you think maybe because you made it convenient? I mean, it, it's that, that's the thing that always just blows me away. It, it's you go to some festivals, you go to some events and you're either so busy moving around it. Right. Right. Trying to maneuver around it, there's this area that you don't enjoy it, or it it it's either too cramped, too crowded, uh, it's too segmented. Do you think the the way you guys have patterned this, where it's really a one stop shop, is the key to that success? Absolutely, and that's something we always talk about. Is what makes Starlight cool is that. If you want to be at the front of the stage with the mosh pit of people, you know, you can. Or if you want to be further back with your lawn chair and set up like a little campground, you can do that. Starlight, we try to accommodate each person's uh, desire for seeing a show, what they want to see, how close they want to be. Do they want to be in a VIP section? Do they want to be further back with their family? You know, we try to hit all marks on each show. Mm -hmm. I think that's what has really made it special. You know, hitting those marks now... That seems to be almost an impossible deal to do because what I like, somebody else might not like that. You really have to be flexible in order to meet those particular needs. Absolutely. And the crazy thing is, you know, it it was never set up like this. We kind (laughs) of, it's supposed to be a water park and here we are, you know, wow, we can put a VIP section right here. We can put a different level of seating up here. And, right. you know, it, every we just try to see something new that we can add to benefit somebody. Maybe a dance floor, you mm-hmm. know, the Moon Palace, yeah, the Cover Palace. Pavilion. Right. Yeah. I mean, we've tried every single spot that someone would want to enjoy a show at, you know. This, this has become the go-to place for certain events and festivals. I, I think because we've been involved with this since its inception, Mudfest. And they moved that out there two, three years ago. I think this, is, this year will be the fourth year they've had it out there. And it really changed what that was and how yeah. it was done. Uh, now's the time right now. If you've got a, you're planning something for the spring or planning something for the summer, now's the time to reach out and contact you guys. Right, get that spot. Yeah, now. you definitely want to talk to us now to get your yeah. date before we start booking it up. Because mm-hmm. we we're already starting to book. We book out. I mean, months and months yeah. in advance. Yeah. But uh, you know, just reach up to us now, get us a date, and we'll start working with you. Yeah, it, it, it's just amazing what this has evolved in. It, we talked about just starting out with the concert stage and a few food, food trucks, and, and really, what's really just risen here recently is the Moon Palace. Yeah, it has just really become a solid venue. It's got a great sound to it. It's a comfortable. I mean, let's be honest. July it gets hot here. Yeah, yeah and about you don't want to. <laughs> this gives you almost, and the way it's situated in in Starlight, how it is, it, it's not a bad seat in the house. Absolutely, it's great sound and it's convenient. Yeah. Well, another thing too, David, is that you know if it rains or something, we don't exactly. have to rush on the stage and start moving equipment. Mm-hmm. And speaking of rain, you know we've had Eli Young, who we have this Friday. We've had them, you know, years and yes. years in a row. I remember the first sellout we had, we were so excited with yes. Eli Young, and here comes this massive Huge storm. <laughs> and it's just like, wow, that. That, that, what a great way to celebrate our first sellout. But, you know, we learned from that. Yep. We built the Moon Palace. We got better roofs. We got a better facility because of that. Yeah, you made it a difference. And I can remember that because the, 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 the trench in front <laughs> oh, of there was just, it was like crossing the Nile. It was no, like, yeah. wait a minute. 
Yeah, they would, I remember yeah. watching the stage hands trying to cover that Got equipment. Up, Fifty mile an hour wind. Popped. Yeah, <laughs> and it just blew up real quick. Yeah. Uh, this is the last show, as we know, the concert lineup for uh, Starlight Ranch. But y you guys want to do something special this year, and starting November twenty third. Tangled Lights. Tell us a little bit about that. So this is something we're super excited yeah, about. We're working cool. with this guy, <laughs> and what, what I'm sure a lot of people have probably been to his house, yeah. right? So he has lines and lines yes. of cars that pull into his house, and they park, and they watch his light show. He has all these people that come out, and he's like, you know, I want to do this somewhere else where it's easier. You know, people don't have to pull up in their cars and mm -hmm. wait, you know, two miles down the street. So he's going to bring it to Starlight. He's going to set it up. And it's actually going to be three shows inside the venue wow. that you get to walk through. And it's this huge, Ooh, elaborate light show. It's yes. going to be something, you know, Amarillo's Holy probably guys. never seen before. Music. And this guy, he was on the light, uh, Great Light Fight Battle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, this is a network ABC show. And, I mean, if you've never been down there to see his display, and this makes it con convenient for you because you don't have to drive outside of town to go right. to, to do it. Uh, main shows run at 7, 8, and 9, a 25-minute runtime. Uh, enter any time between 6 and 8.45. They close at 10 p.m. You can only get tickets for this through the authorized uh, Starlight Ranch ticket. It's Tangled Lights at Starlight Ranch Tickets. Uh, it, like I said, you're, you're going to be blown away. Oh, yeah. This is definitely. amazing. And the guy is such a good guy. You know, he's, he is. He's he keeping the ticket this. price as low as yeah. he can because he loves seeing yeah. the families come in and they get to experience it together. I mean, he's such a genuine yeah. good guy. And it, it's just so great to work with him. It, it's a new tradition. I believe this is going to start another tradition. Oh, yeah. That this is going to be have, a yearly I thing. This is 100% agree with you. Yeah. It's been a great season, Patrick. I've enjoyed hanging out with you, man. Hey, and, thanks and, for bringing us on. KGNC, anytime, man. you know, you guys have helped us out so much. Yeah. And it's not even just business. It's like an actual it's friend. friendship. We're a friendship. Yeah. It's, it's good people. Good people. You guys are great. People. And so uh, we appreciate you. We appreciate your whole family and what you do for our community. And I think that's it. You, you care about what goes on. Absolutely. You care about those people. You care about everybody from the guy who washed the dishes to the main chef to the superstar right. who hits the stage. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone from the difference. bottom level up, man. That's it. That's yeah. it. Don't forget big show tonight and then get those tickets uh, November 23rd through December 30th. Tangle Lights, big production at Starlight Ranch. We'll take a break. We'll talk about a renaissance fair.